Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our RTR Imperium Surrectum playthrough as Sparta. Now, a little apology before we get going, guys. I haven't uploaded for a little while, and that is because I've been so busy with work, with family dues, and with rugby, which I play semi-professionally as well, so that takes up a lot of time. Um, but luckily, I have a day off where I'm going to try and record as many videos as I can and get them out to you for this weekend, because I'm away this weekend as well so hopefully we'll have plenty of videos coming over the weekend and into next week and when we get to next week i'll try but get back to one video a day if not two so that with that to look forward to guys let's uh let's uh, play this battle i haven't played for a little while as you know um, on the mod, on the game. So once this battle's done, we're going to have to go through my armies a little bit. A little bit of a recap for some of you guys. Uh, but for me, it's just getting ready um, to see what we need to do, where we need to move our armies. I just want to go through them anyway to see where we can so sort of improve them. Get them a bit more experience and see how we can improve some of these, you know, some of these different armor upgrades etc but we do have this battle against the Adrissians. i don't know why they have attacked us we are defending because look at that balance of power i don't re i really don't understand they have a couple of peltas some warriors some phalangites thracian warriors and thracian cavalry as well as their general this should be relatively easy but never say never we shall see um so let's play and I will see you guys. Oh, it's because it's the last turn of the siege, isn't it? That's why. Anyway, I will see you on the battle map, guys. Await my orders. Here we are, guys. And of course... Oh, why are we... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? We're down a hill. That's uh, not ideal. Let's just pause for a second. Let's get rid of all you guys. Slow motion. Pause. Right. Um, let's just take our strong units. Also, these guys really have so little experience. It's, it's kind of annoying. The lack of experience they do have. We will uh, bring these guys up to here. Where are the rest? We can't see the rest of their army because we're so low. Um, uh, ideally, I kind of want my archers here. And then we'll probably move like you. You can come here just to protect that side. And we'll bring our cavalry round here just in case. As well as Seuss. Seuss can come and guard that side. That all makes sense? I think so. So you guys get running. Okay. Let's go. Okay, those uh, pikemen are quite far behind. So we'll probably have to uh, put them there. Or we could just run our cavalry. What is that anyway? Thracian Peltasts. Go get the cavalry through them first. This shouldn't be too hard, especially seen as it's a uh, draw out, well, not draw out battle. A battle where they've come out of the city. What are you, Thracian Warrior? I mean, a cavalry's probably just going to do a job for us here, honestly. Okay, the Thracian Warriors are actually decent. So let's uh, get our cavalry back out. You guys, let's get you forward now. You should be able to get into position now. Get them there. You boys, let's go. Um, what are you doing? Come on. You silly cavalry. Let's uh, move them even further forward. Oh, they got jabbies as well. And now, let's get into phalanx formation. Get there. You can charge us if they want. They are just going to be running into a phalanx. That's absolutely fine. Oh, I don't like that. You guys go after them. Bloody Peltasts. Doing some damage. Get you guys through. And then we'll kind of try and block off the exit, shall we? Get into them. Thrace and Warriors, they're already shaken. I thought I saw a red face then. Maybe it was them. Anyone impetuous? Uh, right, Archers. I don't want to get you too far back because you will start getting shot by this. But it's it's okay. 
Come on, boys. In there. What are you doing? Stop running. Just, just fight them. I hate it when they do that. Fight them. By doing that, they've just destroyed their own unit. Because they should they should beat Thracian. Look, the Thracian Peltas have taken no damage. Because they ran through them rather than attacking them, they just got loads of free hits off on us. God damn. Oh, wait. Right, come on. You get there. You two there. You here. Go, go, go. Okay, they've, they've routed now, which is good. No way the cavalry. Oh, here's their cavalry. Hello, Cav. Let's get them. I think our Cav's going to lose against their Cav, honestly. Hate Missile Cav. God damn. Missile Cav is just, just horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible Cav. That's Thracian Royal Bodyguards there as well. I'm not too keen on that. I've only got two units of cab left. What are you doing? Are you joking me? Right, General, let's get you back. You've taken so much damage. Oh my god, these guys! Just fucking get them! Right, come on. Get through. Just go through the middle. It's probably the best thing you can do. Yeah, go through there, and then they'll charge into the phalanx. Oh my god! These guys are just stupid! Stupidly relentless. This has not gone as well as I would hope. Get them. Oh my god, bro. Just rally anyway. How have they not taken more damage than that? Fire at those Thracian roll bodyguards. Okay, they broke them now. Good. Well done, guys. It only cost you 20 men. <laughs> Which is a lot. Phalanx. Let's get you guys up here. Okay, they're going to charge the back of us. Turn around. Oh, God damn it, bro. This is actually awful. <laughs> Oh, how have you died so much? At least you're firing on the Thracian Royal Bodyguards. That's all I can say. Oh, god damn. That was, that was just awful. How many did we lose? Oh, god damn. So we lost about 350. They've lost... 300. So we've lost less than them, which is just embarrassing. That was awful by me. I am rusty, as you can tell. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, these guys, bro. Just go away. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now we'll get here and we'll that'll just stop anyone coming out and... Uh, Hurting us. I mean, if they want to go a different way, that's absolutely fine. What are you doing over there? Getting shot. Right. Let's get you there. Let's get you here. Uh, Alright, let's speed it up. I don't know what they're going to do. Looks like they're firing javies, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. Oh god damn that was that was that was bad. <laughs> oh I guess we win. Wait, draw Um Well I'm I'm pretty sure they drew out because it was the end of the siege. So let's end the battle. See they killed more. God damn bro. God damn. That was not good. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure we took the city anyway, so that doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. Yeah, we did take it. That's okay. I think we'll enslave. That's good. That Adrissian army should run away then. Oh, hello, Bosporans. 
That's a pretty fat army you've got there, <laughs> bro. Um, wait, are we at war with Egypt? No, I was gonna say it looks it looks red. I guess that's orange, but <laughs> that kind of looks a bit red. I was a bit worried then. I was like, oh no, Egypt! <laughs> I don't want to be at war with Egypt. So is this the Adrissians' last territory? Their last holdings? I mean, I hope so. That'd be quite nice. We've got, we've got big Cleonimos over here. What a boy. 50 years old. Absolute beast of a character. My favourite character. So this army in Lysomachia obviously needs to get gone. We lost some cavalry in that. That's fine. I think we'll go and get some cavalry from Larissa if we can. So do we have the Thessalonican Lancers available? Oh, we have two. Excellent. That's exactly how many we needed. Send them to Bylazora. Get their armor upgrades. Can't wait for Bylazora to become a huge city so we can get those extra armor upgrades. Um, of course, we're retraining down here. Do we need any more troops? Hmm. This is a this is an older army. It's just still not got a huge amount of experience. So, hmm. Let's uh, let's go through the armies. Let's have a look at what happens. So the hordes arrive, Sarakis. Yeah, we can see. So we have you two. You need to just get gone away from the Sarakis as quick as possible. So let's get you gone. You are building forts, aren't you, my friend? And we've got a little bit of a fort here. Um, where would be the best place? So they can get through pretty much all this area. Obviously, there's a bridge here and there's a Sanka. So once we've taken a Sanka, the Sanka should kind of protect this whole region. Same with a Quincum because it protects that bridge. Hmm. You can, they can get across here, but there's a bridge there as well. And there's a bridge there. I could put forts like here and here behind the bridge. Hmm. I'm not too sure. What would be best there? That one definitely does block off. But I'm thinking... Would here block off? I think it would, you know. So let's build that fort. See whether we can get any uh, mercenaries. No, we can't. So let's see whether we can get... One of you boys in there. Yep, now you've blocked off that area. Uh, do we want one here as well? Potentially. Uh, and then we'll just come over to here because we've got protection from that other army. And let's see whether we can reach up there with one of our troops. No, we can't. You can, though. Get you up there. And then let's get you here. So once this army's done, I'm hoping we can use it to kill Warad Sin of the Serakis. I know that'll be... That'll be... Although it looks like they don't have many troops and they'll be very damaged, it'll be a very hard battle just because... Horse archers are just so unbelievably good. Right. Let's have a little bit of an admin reset. So if you're not interested in seeing this campaign management side, then you can skip ahead to the next battle or whatever. That's absolutely fine. But I just kind of want to go through everything. Okay, so we didn't get a construction notice there. But it looks like we've got a lot of places that aren't building. So let's build first. Let's do the building first. That's nice and easy, isn't it? So Megalopolis, what do we want? Um, not much really, honestly. <laughs> we'll get an academy. We do have a governor here, so it's good to get an academy. Thermon, we are a... Hmm. Thermon. So with Thermon, we could get the army barracks. What can we recruit here? Okay, we can't quite recruit the best units. So let's get the army barracks so we can. Pella. Hmm. Pella, Pella, Pella. Can't you see? Um, I mean, the Zeus is not brilliant, honestly, as a temple here. I don't know. Maybe we destroy the Zeus temple. And go for... The missile weapons one. 
I think we, if we destroy the Zeus one and get, go for the missile weapons one, then we have Bylazora for the armor upgrades, and then we have Pella for the missile weapons. I think that's the best. It's better than the civic construction time and, and uh, money. Definitely better than that. So go for Artemis. Um, that was that. Amphipolis. Um, Amphipolis again. Where are you? Over here. Not hugely important. What we build. Let's just get some happiness with the Odeon. Arestia. Where are you, Arestia? Over there. Uh, okay, so Arestia is Greek already. That's excellent. Let's just go for that um, extra temple. Darkadava. Darkadava. Darkadava is Greek as well. Wow. That's great. Let's build that then. We want to keep on... Uh, Moving our recruitment hubs further and further to the to, to the front line. Also, Arkadava is Greek. That's actually excellent as well. Do you have a blacksmith here? No, you don't. Okay. Let's go for the Forion anyway. And then Ancona. What do you want at Ancona? Hmm. Probably better walls, honestly. That's probably the best thing. Because we're going to be defending there a couple of times. So Lysomachia. What do you want in Lysomachia? Have we destroyed their building? Yes, we have. We've got the Temple of Hera. I think we'll go for that then. So that's all the building done right. We've built everything. And we're nearly Greek everywhere. Look. Argadava's not. Salm is a Gattuza. Thomas isn't. Pirobodava and Tyras isn't. As well as Ancona Tarentum. So we're pretty, pretty good in terms of uh, all that sort of stuff. So when we're free, when we need some, we need some extra troops, some extra little buddies to come down here. So I wonder whether we can leave straight away. Oh, we can't really because they're in the way. So let's wait a turn over there, see what happens. Okay, you're. I'm guessing you were Getai. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you were Getai. I think so. Because the Idrisians are still alive, right? Only four turns till my Mytonium dies. That's brilliant. Darkadava, Sanmizigatuza. How are we doing on that con conversion? <sighs> okay, not not brilliant. Not brilliant, but it's okay. It, it's going now. It's going. It wasn't before, was it? Now, Argadava. Yeah, you're going a lot. That's great. So once that's done, we can kind of move out one of these trasher armies. Go further north, or to kind of protect, like at a Quincum, somewhere like that. That'll be good. So, you're also going back to Pella. So, let's uh, check our army. So, we've got this one who's uh, really, really damaged. We need two extra horsemen for that army. You are very damaged as well, especially with the infantry. So, you're going back. Um, do we have any horsemen? I would like to recruit them here honestly because they get extra experience so let's just recruit a couple more your retraining by the zora we have the the lancers there but we also have one spartan cavalry here as well you if i attacked croton now does that bring that army in let's see no it doesn't so we want to do that although the problem is as uh, someone pointed out we do take Croton as well. We are bordering Carthage. And Carthage might declare war on us just because AI likes to just declare war on whoever's their neighbor. So that's probably not an amazing, amazing decision. But it's something... You know, Croton's a decent city. I do still want to take it. It's only a minor city, though. But we have sieged it down, so I, I would like to go and try and take it. So, we have this army in Tarentum, which is plenty good. Plenty good. And we have this army here. So, we need to kind of start bringing Cryptia over if we can. So, let's go Skodra and there. And we'll start recruiting like a couple of Cryptia. And then bring them across. Do we have anyone on boats? I don't believe we do. No, I'd also like to replace this army at Ancona, maybe. Actually, they're not too bad. 
Oh, well, the cavalry is absolutely screwed. But apart from that, they're not too bad. So let's just check that was all the armies. Let's go for units, please. So you're at Croton. We've got you at Pella, yep. Yeah. We've got you at Asanka, yep. Yeah. We've got you at Mytonium. We've got you at Tarentum, yep. Yeah. We've got you at Ancona. We've got you at Skodra. Coming back to Pella. We've got you coming down as well. And we've got Seuss over here. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's all the armies. So in terms of the plan going forward, I'm going to kill the Adrissians. I'm going to take Asanka, try and kill the Serakis. Because they're just going to be in menace otherwise. I'm going to try also, so maybe I should have put some watchtowers out with you. I think we'll put some watchtowers out on our borders. Oh, there's more Serakis up there as well, but that's fine. Um, I like to have watchtowers on all our borders, especially this one. Because the Bosporans are very likely to attack us re reasonably soon. Just because we are already bordering them. I'm fine leaving Anatolia as it is for now. Anatolia can stay as it is. If we go and take anything in Anatolia, that just puts us to war with uh, Egypt. Oh, hello, Seleucids. I like to see that. <coughs> Excuse me. I like to see that. That's very good indeed. Um, but the main the main threat is Rome, isn't it? The main threat is Rome. And I don't think Rome are that big yet. Look at them. They're not that big. Carthage seems to be doing a decent job. Um, so in terms of that plan, we need to take Croton, which we'll do now. We need to uh, bring across Cryptia to fill in these gaps. Um, and then we go and make our way up. And then with, well, we have three armies retraining right now. So we've got three more armies to send into the fray against Rome. Because I don't think we really need one to the northeast yet. Potentially could uh, start recruiting another army. And probably that's an idea. Recruiting another army to start building for Bosporans if they want to attack. I'm happy to just defend against the Germanians. I do not want this land yet. I would much rather have Roman land. Um, much richer, much closer together, much closer to our capital, which is Pella, than all this stuff right up here in the north. We have, we have taken Alexander's legacy and made Pella our capital. No longer Sparta. We are Spartans still, but we have thrown ourselves in Pella to claim Alexander's legacy. Um, but we're kind of going the opposite direction. <laughs> we're going west instead of east. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take Croton before this army decides to get in on the action. I mean, I don't think them attacking us would be that horrendous of a battle anyway. We do have a lot. Is it just a normal lithoboloi? Yes, but not a large lithoboloi. What are they? Triarii? Oh, God. I hate Triarii with a passion. They're so good. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think they'll man the walls too much. And we have more units than they do to uh, get on onto the walls. So that'll be fine. Anyway, I'll see you on the battle map, guys, for the Siege of Croton. Here we are, guys. Oh, it's a great. Yes. It is a brilliant, brilliant um, city arrangement as well. I love these ones with these two clean, large, wide ways into the, into the middle. Uh, that way's actually a bit shorter. And that's trees. So we'll go over this side. And we will use... So, yeah, I think... Well, first things first, let's get all you guys over here. Problem with this way, though, is is all these uh, towers. Like this, in a U-shape, ready to uh, shoot us down. So we will probably send someone over here as well. And then we'll have you here just in case. The Lithoboli. I think we'll put you there, because you can reach the gates that way, can't you? Is that everyone? Oh, you're over there still. Who are you? Oh, you're the other archer. Fair enough. All right, let's see what they've done. Okay, so they've set up there, but they're not on the wall. That means they're very unlikely to actually get onto the wall anyway. 
Uh, get there. And we probably won't need you, my friend. So let's drop that for now. And let's speed it up. Speed it up. I think we're going to get some good shots off with the archers as well if we do this. I think you guys can come over here. Fantastic. Let's go. Yep. And I want them to get shot to death by their own uh, thingy. Go on, boys. Just get through there. Yep, let's keep going. You guys can come here. Um, then you guys can go there. Start shooting at them. You just take that one just in case. It's not really going to make... Actually, no, don't take that one. Just, just come this way. Get firing. How can you not fire? Come on. Fire. There, you can fire now. Guys, halt. Fire as well. The Equites getting shot. Fantastic. Alright, you guys come through. And then we'll get you to halt as well. Yeah, get firing, boys. <laughs> I love that. Right, who do we want to use? We'll use some of the you guys. You four, I think, will be the best option. We didn't actually use the Lithobole at all then, did we? You come through as well. Sorry, who are you? Kelly Asa Sparta, cool. You're a new general, aren't you, my friend? You have been chosen. You are the chosen one. Cavalry will come as well. I mean, we'll bring you guys up here as well, but I don't think we'll need you. I mean, hopefully we won't. The only thing that's going to do us a lot of damage here is going to be their javis, their peeler. Galias, get in. And I want to fight them off the town square if possible. Let's speed it up. So they are coming. So we will get, they will get shot. Great. Okay, well, I oh know it's Triarii. They don't have peeler. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. Just line up like that, boys. Okay, at least you guys know how to line up. There's a little bit of a gap in that in that phalanx, but they're going to charge directly at these guys. It's good for us. And our archers can fire directly over the head of them. That's excellent. It's good to see. All right, you better get your phalanx ready now, boys. Because it's Triarii we're fighting. All right, let's speed it up. They're also getting shot by the towers. So they're going to take a little bit of damage, of course. Because the Triarii are incredibly, incredibly tough. Now, what are you? You're Hastati. We can probably just run through you with the Cav. Although, I don't really want to waste Cav on a siege battle. No point. Might as well sandwich them with these boys. Okay, these ones... Dying less... These ones are dying more. Oh, they're shaken. Wow. It's interesting. Normally don't see that, but you guys have taken it. Uh, they're about a bit less damage, actually, which is surprising. But we didn't get into uh, phalanx formation quick enough, did we, on this side? The uh, Starty, they're going to fire their jabbies, but it doesn't look like they're going to work because they've got friends in front of them. Still shaken. See, this gap has uh, kind of screwed us a little bit in the middle there. Do you know what? I'm going to bring two units of the cavalry in. So if they if they run away, we can charge them down before they get back to the town square. And then we can go and sandwich these boys. They should... Okay, go, 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 go. Nice. Get in. You boys. Let's go. Get you this side. Who is this? There's 27 of those boys. They're getting shot to pieces by the archers. That is brilliant. That is great to see. Oh, the thing is, are we going to make it before they get to the town square with the cab? I think we are. 
Let's go. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Kill them all now. Kill them all. Nice. Now let's get this uh, Hastati. They're running. Let's go. I think we'll be okay. And then what I'll do is I'll stop you guys firing so we don't kill our own men. Go, 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 boys. Go. I think, yeah, there we are. Fantastic. They killed 80 still. That always surprises me how many they kill. Archers, wow, 99 for that archer. Well done, really good. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, bites out of each unit. They got a bit of healing, though, these phalangites, which is excellent. That's good to see. Fantastic. And the cavalry doing well as well. Well done, guys. Croton is ours. Hopefully that hasn't opened up uh, Carthage to attack us. So I think we leave... Um, is it, what's it called? Uh, Lycia? No, I can't remember what it's called. The the other, Pystum, is it? The other place next to Regium. So we'll leave that for Carthage to always think they have an enemy on their border rather than us. So hopefully they won't attack us. Anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And I think same thing as before. We're going to enslave. Oh, look at Captain Nias. Wait, how did he get there? What? What? I was here. He was there. How was he? What? Am I being dumb up? Right, let's make sure that's lined up because it really... I think that's right. Let's get it towards the bottom. I'm looking on the map. It's not right. Quite right. Uh, oh, come on. Straighten back up. Straighten up! That's not straight. That's... Uh... Oh, good. <laughs> it really hurts my brain when it's not... I don't know, that doesn't look straight to me again, but it is. It, it definitely is. Okay, cool. Good, 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 good. Right. Retinue expands. He gets Helots. Plus one farming output. Nowhere uh, less influence, though, which is not great. He's 27 and got five influence and five command. That's pretty decent, honestly. That's that's pretty good. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, it's Pystum is the uh, place I was talking about before. See what we've got down here. Okay, Carthage has owned this for a while. I mean, do we want Gerzil here? Because I don't think they have a blacksmith over here. We can't retrain anyone because we already got good enough. So, yeah, we will get rid of Gerzel. We'll also get rid of the arena. But I will keep... I will keep the execution square for that law. Extra free law for us. Destroy Civitas thingy. Get rid of Gerzel. Let's see what sort of cultural unrest we have here. So, Italic is staying. That's fine, then. I don't think we go for culture conversion yet. We are not in a position... To be culture converting quite yet. So let's see. What can we get? I would prefer... So we've got Heracles. Poseidon. Athena. Hera. Ares. I think, obviously, Hera. We'll go for Hera. Always Hera. For that extra lore. Cars. How much money will we be losing? We're actually not... Pella's not that far away, is it? So maybe we don't need law. There's no, nothing for corruption there. Nothing at all. I mean, the law is extra happiness, though, as well. We've got to remember that. So, yeah, probably law is best. But it is only first level, so we can, if we want to swap it, we can change around anyway. Cool. Well, that's good. I think we're at the end of a turn. I'm hoping that Seraki's army doesn't come and hunt us down. That would be a nightmare. But I don't know where they're going to go. Where do they want their homeland? Where is their new homeland? I mean, them sieging anything down is not good uh, for them. Because most of their army will be horse archers. So them sieging stuff down is going to be very hard. Also, don't want to attack that yet. It's four, only four more turns until it's destroyed. So I think we wait. Clean Imos can, can, can wait a few more years, can't he? Uh, we'll wait, we'll leave this Adrissian army to leave, and then we'll end the turn. We're having a lot of... We'll have three armies trying to uh, retrain at Pella all <laughs> simultaneously. I guess we could send one down to Agrigentum. 
Okay, was that Romans attacking rebels or what was that? Oh, hello, Bosporans. That's not a nice place for you Let to be in. Okay, yeah, I mean, Suebi, I like that. Thank oh, you. Thanks. Do you want trade rights, bro? Yes. Would you like an alliance? We see no, no, I mean, your allies. <laughs> we just have one ally. <laughs> You only have one enemy, the Iceni. Yeah, if we became allies with you, uh, they are bankrupt. Oh, poor guys. Give me map information so I can see your lands. Uh, 60 denarii for my map information. Are you taking the piss, bro? <laughs> what jokers? What jokers? I mean, we could scam them again. I <laughs> Scamming works so well on this game. <laughs> Sounds terrible, but it does. <laughs> Works so well. The other consideration with Patavium. Let us end the bloodshed. Uh, no. Let, let, us, let us not end the bloodshed. Let us continue the bloodshed forever. Oh, hello, Pergamon. Scrap that about saying go, not going to uh, Anatolia. I might go to Anatolia and sell Mytilene to... Uh, to these guys, to the Ptolemaic Empire, because as I say, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want a border with them because we will go, we will be at war with them otherwise, and we have other fish to fry. So maybe we do just defend against them. What army do you have? You got a couple of Lithobolois. I mean, they're gonna be sieging against Phalangites, aren't they? So I think we win that. I think we win that. We just do the old uh, many, many, many phalangites all together <laughs> bunched up. So we have Eurythion. Oh, he's actually quite good as well. 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. That's decent. Confident in defense. He's uh, frugal. He disdains his father. He's an optimist and an oligarch. That's pretty good. I think he's going to be a good uh, governor. Um, I mean... Could we leave now? Could we leave? My lord, my lord, my lord, we could leave. I've got to remember that though, there was that huge Roman army uh, around somewhere. Not this one. There was a full stack. I mean, it. They could be hiding up here. Hmm. Nice spy. Let's go and check. Okay. No. No, they, they must have gone somewhere. Unless they've gone into Rome. But I think Rome's always had a full stack. God, look at the amount of Triarii in Rome. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. Failed buyout attempt. Don't care. So, war with Pergamon. Suebi and the Sarakis are at war as well. Interesting. So, what was that one? A settlement besieged. Yep, yeah, no worries. Let's have a look at the constructions. Aegeon got the academy. That's good. And he's only 18, if it plus. So let's keep on going with the scriptorium uh, chain. Rhodes. I mean, Rhodes really doesn't need anything. Orchomenos. Oh, we could get the epic stone wall at Orchomenos. 31,000. We're still growing here. I'm surprised there's not more squalor. Um, public order. 80% squalor. But everything else is adding up pretty good. So, I mean, the Pantheon just gives more population growth, so. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Let's do it. We might as well. <laughs> just do it. Uh, I don't know what I pressed on there. Apollonia. So, Apollonia. Let's go for uh, more temples. Keeping them happy. Keeping the people happy. That's what we need to focus on. Oiskos. Hmm. Oiskos. Let's go for the academy. Singedunum. Singedunum. Dunum. Let's go for that. Yeah. As I say, we want to move our recruitment hubs further north. Oh, why are you not on low? Get Suggestica on low. It's already Greek, so we might as well build that. Byzantium. Uh, Byzantium's Greek as well, so let's build that. Piro Bridava. Piro Bridava is not Greek, is it? No, absolutely not. Uh, Sacred Grove of Bendis. No, I mean, 
Yeah. Let's go for the sewer instead. Let's get that let's get that population happiness up. Croton. Let's just check what we have here in terms of Okay, so they are italic. Uh let's go for the sewers then. And Lysomachia, we are building. Cool. I mean, there's that army, though. It's an annoying, really, really, really annoying army. <laughs> exactly the wrong time, right? Uimon! Uimon has nine command, and he's 31. What an actual boy. I mean, honestly, I just want to defend against Pergamon. I, I really don't want to go and fight them, so let's just defend against them. So, in terms of our next strike... We've attacked Venusia. We could go for Malaventum. We could go for Ascalum to combine our lands up here. And we're kind of converging on Rome then. So let's do that. I'll leave you in there for now. Um, next army to go to Pella. Where are you going? You were just in Pella, weren't you? Well, I think... Can you walk across that way? I'm guessing they walked across. Um, you guys, I mean, are you going to be able to reach Pella in this turn? Yes, you are. Fantastic. Time for some serious retraining over here. Yeah, retrain everyone. You guys are going to have to get to Pella next turn. So I kind of want to use you guys in defense. Where, though? That is the question, is where. Okay, those Adrissians have moved away. Good. Could be Tyras. Could be up north. Like Suggestica could use it. Or even Tarentum, maybe. We'll leave you for now, and then we'll think of what to do with you later. Now, Sanka. Maytonium. Yeah, cool. Cool. I think we're in a pretty decent spot, honestly. I'm pretty happy with where we are. Well, let's keep on uh, recruiting Cryptia. In Skodra and uh, Apollonia. Just to send them across to these places. Because we're not always going to have a general ready to go, are we? Right. I think that's another end turn, isn't it? Let's... Uh... Well, I would like to bring you guys back for retraining. So, once we've got you across to go and take Malaventum. I think... That's the route, isn't it? Malaventum, Capua, and then Rome. But we need a few more armies on here to try and take out Rome. Oh, that will be glorious. That is one hell of an army, though. That is one heck of an army. All the merchants doing what they want. Go on, merchants. Go along, go along, merchants. Republic of Carthage doing... Trying to bribe Ancona, really? Why? <laughs> That's just dumb. That's just dumb. I kind of wish Rome had built highways all across... Oh, okay. Well done, Sirakis. Look how small that army is. Jesus. Are they, they're sieging both. That's so cute. There's, there's literally there's literally one unit in each of those forts. Oh, you can... Yes. Come on. Another free kill on a Roman army. <laughs> Fantastic. That is good. Because they will attack us in the, in, the, in the town. And once again, we will put our pikes... Where our mouth, out my mouth is? I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's put your money where your mouth is, but put our pikes where our money mouth is. Yes. So more hordes arrive, whatever. Um. Yeah, Ancona and Lysamarchia. Okay, these. I mean, they're gonna be. It's, it's gonna be a tough battle, I think. But I, I, I just. I mean, they've wasted. Four of their unit slots on artillery, which is not going to help them at all. Um, how many turns? We've got six turns left on that. What's this ceasefire? The Icenian Suebi. So they might, the Suebi might declare war on us next if they have ceasefire with the Icenian. Because they're actually not at war with anyone right now. Rhodes, let's just keep on going with that. Athens. Hmm. Not the public baths. We could get the aqueduct, I guess. Let's go for the aqueduct. Larissa, got irrigation. Hmm. We do have a 22-year-old, so let's get the scriptorium. Pella. Uh, let's go for the Artemis. Thessalonica. 
Oh, it doesn't really matter on some of these. Some of these have just built. We've built so much. It doesn't matter too much anymore. Odeon for Philippopolis. I think so. I think that's the option. Skodra. Oh, Skodra's... It didn't tell me about this, but Skodra can upgrade. <laughs> Great. Uh, Nysus upgraded as well. That's that's Nysus to here. Very good. Um, and let's go for the awesome Temple of Dionysus. Thomas also upgraded. Interesting. Let's go for Shrine to Hermes. And then Tyras. Tyras, we will 100% want those those stone walls. It's gonna That's going to really help us out there. Okay, they might attack Pyro Radava. If they do that, we will probably have to attack Mytonium. Or maybe not, because there'll only be one turn left. So, probably not. Probably be okay. Hmm. Well, what are these armies? They're just, they, they've, they're so whittled down. That really, they're not a huge concern anymore, are they? Oh, well. We shall leave them. We shall leave them to siege down our forts, because who cares? <laughs> they're not attacking our cities. It doesn't make a difference. Hello, big Roman armies. How are you today? Probably quite bad, seeing as we're taking all the old land. Hello, Carthage. Oh, God, Carthage. Now, that if that, that is an army that's going to get shredded by Romans if ever I've seen one. And I know from experience. <laughs> I know from experience an army like that will get absolutely vaporized, marmalized by the Romans. Absolutely destroyed. Um... Pergamon, you are just an annoying little bastard, aren't you? What, what, why, and what, for what reason, you think you can take on the might of the heirs of Alexander? I mean, you're also an heir of Alexander, but you're the trash heir of Alexander. We're, we're the real heirs of Alexander, I promise. <laughs> right, so Pella. One more retraining go, and we'll actually recruit a few more of these. Let's go and take defensive positions. So we'll get you there, ready to uh, retrain as well. Now we have you. Okay, maybe Malaventum's not the one to go for with all these massive armies around. Hmm. Thinking... Like, somewhere north. Hmm. Like, around here. You won't be able to move anyway, so it's fine. You're going to get destroyed, unfortunately. So we should probably bring you back down here. Oops, I know I need to do that. And then when these crypt here are done, we'll send them across to Tarentum. We'll have plenty of them. Right, Venusia. They don't have much, do they? So we'll just do... Okay, Gnaeus Cornelius Scipio. Fantastic. Let us fight you, my friend. Uh, so we'll send, uh, we'll just do exactly the same tactic as we did last time. Midi loss, you are trash, bro. One influence, no command. We'll do what we did with Croton. Get up on the walls, fire at them. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the campaign map. We had to take that battle, otherwise we would have got attacked by those big, much bigger Roman armies. But we're slowly eating away at them, aren't we? Anyway, I'll see you on the uh, battle map, guys. Take up the spear and shield. Put on your helmet, put aside the fear in your hearts, and remember that you yes. are sons of great soldiers. Yes, you are. But you are also great soldiers yourself, so don't put yourself down like that, bro. Um, right. I mean, so there's always there's this way, isn't there? There's also that way, but I, I mean, this way is the best. Get you all over here. Right, you guys are going up there. I mean, ideally I would like to put you there, but you can't go through the woods, can you? You guys there, then. You guys there. And you can come here just in case, but we won't need you. You there. You guys here. Cavalry. Then Ballista. I mean, you might actually get shot from there. So, stay back. Okay, maybe uh, we don't go for that one then. So, starty. Um, where do we go then instead? I mean, you can just... We 
You could go there, but you're going to get shot to pieces. So let's, uh, let's come over here then. Fire at that Astarte if you can, bro. I mean, it, just to just to annoy them, really. I really don't want to fight that Astarte on the wall. Let's speed it up. Come on, boys. Oh, they're taking so much damage. Get up the walls, boys. All right, you uh, come around that way. Once you're up, you guys kind of try and get around this way. They may pose a bit of a threat. Okay, they're coming through. So let's just run. <laughs> go! Like, literally, just go. <laughs> get the hell out of Dodge. Go! <laughs> run away from the Hastati. I'm hoping they leave... Leave the wall. Anyway, could try and destroy that gate, but I mean, they've come back this way, which is fine. Go, 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 boys. Hmm. Hmm. Now they're coming back. That's fine. We'll uh, come back around this way. Now you guys come back. Just hoping they leave the walls. Just get the hell off the walls, boys. Could send Midi Loss up there. Uh, if anything, standing there, we would be able to uh, fire at them. Oh, we're coming back. What's this one doing? <clears throat> Stand there. Should be able to fire on them quite nicely. Fire. They are coming still. Okay, good. If they, if they want to follow us all the way around this way, that's fantastic. Oh, what are you doing? I told you to go up that way. You're not going to fight a starty boys. You idiots! Oh my god! Oh, now you're fighting to the death. Well, at least it keeps them uh, occupied for a little while. Let's get everyone in. Let's get you boys in as well. And midi loss. Well, we'll lose an archer, but that's, that's no problem whatsoever, is it? So... Fastest way is around this way. Let's get all you boys there. In fact, and then let's get the cavalry over there to beat that Tribunus Militum. Let's go. Okay. We'll get you away. Archers. Uh, do we need the archers? You guys get rid of that. I mean, could do with them. Might as well use them. Alright, let's speed it up. Okay, they do have Prinkapes. There's only 44 of them over there, though. I think our cavalry can make them, can route them, probably. Alright, General. Let's get you around here. Uh, the problem is that... Let's go after them. Let's go, go, go. Just get into them. Okay, these guys are a bit tired now. That's fine. All right, they've left the town square completely. I oh, know they haven't. They've got equities. Get you guys there. Let's go after that. Tri I know the Tribunus Militum is better than our cavalry by quite a considerable margin. But our overwhelming numbers should just do it. Yeah. Oh, oh he's already dead. What a loser. What a fool of a man. A fool of a duke. Ah. Surprised they've not routed yet with him dying. All 
Right, so you boys. Let's get you like there. You boys. Let's try and get you in there. Try and just fit you in. Because obviously this Equitase is going to attack us as soon as uh, we get into the square. There's only ten of them left. Kill them. Alright, let's speed it up. Right, cavalry, let's go. Yep, here they come, see. If anything, we want to go f attack them. Get there, just go, go, go. Go. Phalanx, attack them. Oh, God, it's a bit of a mess, but... Get you all on phalanx and just attack them. Get here. We will kill them quite quickly. Because of the phalanx. Guys, guys, phalanx! Now charging the back. We should absolutely shred them there. Alright, cavalry there. You boys here. Get off that. Let's go there. Is there anyone coming? So we've got the Princapes that side. And the Hestati over there. Fine. You guys. Get you there. Get these guys here. We'll get these guys here as well. Uh, and then archers. Yeah, the archers are f supposedly firing, but I'm not too sure about that. General behind. Let's speed it back up again. All we need to do is wait two minutes. Or, well, not let them get through for two minutes. Now everyone on your phalanx. That's not the greatest formation I've ever seen. Oh, no. Why do you always just rearrange everything when you do that? That's the most annoying thing. Oh, we're done. Fantastic. About equal. That's fine for a siege battle, honestly. That's fine. Most of them were archers. Most of the casualties we sustained were archers. That's excellent. Well done, my boys. Well done. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hmm. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely superb, my friends. Superb. Ah, oh, good. Anyway, I'll see you. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll see you on the uh, campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And again, let us enslave. That means that Oiskos is expanding. Interesting. We'll take that. No worries. Ah, oh, so Venusia is now ours as well. That is fantastic. I mean, we might get attacked by one of these big armies over here. But you, Imon, can handle it. I'm sure he can. Just hopefully, if we don't get we don't get flanked from behind. This army also, why has it not been to Bylazora to get upgrades? Hmm. Slightly uh slightly annoying, but that's that's fine. Hmm. Oh look at these guys, they are down to nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh we need we'll take those Thessalonican lancers and we'll take in that other Spartan cavalry as well. From uh Bylazora if we can. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, well, I think that's going to be it. Pretty uh, productive episode today. A lot better than the last episode, hey? A lot, lot better than the last episode. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. A hundred times better than the last episode, which was a tough episode, honestly. So, yeah. Pergamon has attacked us for no reason. I don't know why. Um, that's kind of the worry now, though, is that... Well, they can they can actually... They are technically bordering us here if they can walk across that straight. It's getting into an, an extended war with the Ptolemaics, which... I mean, when Rome is done, it's likely Carthage will attack us. We're just going to be so extended. We're going to be so spread out. We need to focus on one enemy at a time. And once Rome is done, my, my favorite choice would be to go after Anatolia at that point. It's, I mean, it's east of our empire. Like, Rome, 
Our empire, the center of our empire, Pella here, is quite close to Rome, and it's quite close to Anatolia. So I'd really, really like to go after Anatolia and, you know, take these Mediterranean coasts around to Alexandria. That'll be a long war, though. That'll be a really long war. So we'll see whether we even have time for that in the whole thing. I mean, the whole aim of the campaign is to destroy Rome, right? That That is the main aim. And anything on top of that is a bonus, really. So once we've destroyed Rome, which will still take quite a few more episodes. I'm thinking five to ten, really, honestly. Um, once we've destroyed them, then it's our, then it's our uh, go card to do whatever we want. I generally like to keep let's plays to around 30 episodes but this one is definitely going to be longer than that because we're on episode what 23 right now and we, we're not close to destroying rome just yet um so yeah we'll probably be longer than that but we shall see we shall see guys anyway anyway thank you very much for watching guys please do like subscribe all that good stuff it really helps the channel out and i will see you again on the next video